All right, so I've warped up to the li the local lighthouse around here. Oh, might be under attack already. Adorable little wraith. So I was uh, last episode I was I was well on my way to probably dealing with a uh, hello friend. Oh, I was getting ready to deal with uh, the next uh, card quest, but just happened to stumble into an inn. Look <laughs> in my quest for cards, which I only was nearby because I was just. Look, going for the nearest fast travel location so I could head closer to the, the place I was going to play my main card game. Uh, oops. Ruining that, aren't I? Let's just wail away on him for a moment. There we go. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Who's a solid creature? Oh, you apparently not. Never mind. My mistake. So, sorry if I offended you. There we go. Uh, we happen to walk into an inn that... Happened to have a guy that I just picked up the contract for like a moment ago, I think, before I walked in. And so I, I figure, hey, we already talked to the dude, might as well follow in with this phantom situation. So I've warp I warped up to the lighthouse because thankfully we have a bunch of fast travel locations already from those maps we've been finding. Hello? This supposed to, yeah, this is supposed to be where the lighthouse keeper is. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me, bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name, Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the wraith, big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought him here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. This wraith. The big one. Tell me more. It... It, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Or you need to run from something. That's sufficiently foreboding, I suppose, for a quest about an evil phantom. Oh, hello, corpse. How you doing? Just hanging out? on the, Just being around? Almost managed to find cover. Almost. Whoopsie! Is there another wraith over there? Let's ignore them for now. Unless they unless they pursue me. Let's look into this lighthouse situation. I'm sure there'll probably be another woman that was scorned and murdered in some horrible way and it now has to be dealt with, because we have dealt with we have had that kind of quest like three or four times now. Let's see if the pattern sets in or if they're gonna subvert my expectations here. Have we had a male ghost yet to fight? I don't think we have. Like, not not as like a boss encounter. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one. The curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Interesting. So he has to go up and light the uh, the, the lighthouse for the soul to, to fix itself then. Put down our slowing curse. I mean, sign. I don't have curses. I'm a witcher. Let's go ahead and try to restore some of my lost hit points. Oh, wow. You just barely chip away, don't you? Come on. Try a little harder than that. Here. Combined effort. I believe in you. Right? 
Yeah, gotta restore them hit points. <laughs> I don't want to use a swallow. All right, fine. You tried, I guess. Now burn. Does that work on you guys? Not really. Oh. You, oh, you took away, my ear didn't war off, my bad. My mistake, sir. There we go. Now you can die. Oh, you died in sync. I hope you guys were like good buddies or something because you just double died next to each other. And I mean that in two ways, isn't they died at the same time as each other and also they were dead already. So it's like a double, double death, which is pretty fucking extreme, man. Hey, buddy. Phew, it's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. But I'm the only one who lives here, and I've hurt no one. Trouble not a soul. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I, 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 I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Oh, here it comes. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Got me a little bit surprised. So I just need to distract him for a while, I guess? Do I fight back, or is that really... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them coming this way now. Got my shield up, what you gonna do? Oh, oh. You broke through my Quen. I didn't I didn't really realize that was an option. Okay, cool. Uh Earden. Alright, I was just talking about them all being male, so I guess I mean female, so that, that's what I get, I guess, is immediately here's a female one. Oh shit, I don't have a sword out. What? Why'd that happen? So every now and then my sword just decides it's not a part of the fight anymore. Wow. Oh, I have to repair my armor now. That's bad. Okay, Jesus. Okay, okay. Am I not supposed to hit them at all? Am I supposed to just distract them for a while? Or am I supposed to be fighting? Does it feel- it almost feels like I can't hit them. Oh no, I'm hitting this one. Maybe that was just bad luck. Maybe there's just so many of them I was having trouble. Because every time I swung at one of them, it was like- I was like, wasn't doing damage, but I was getting interrupted by so many other things. But I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do, but it looks like... I just got to adapt. Yep. Take that guy out, quickly. Oh, shit. Thought I was gonna power through that. Apparently not. Where y'all's at? Hup. Hello, friend. Nice, nice weather we got around here, right? Ow, 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 ow. If only I could make this Earden circle just a bit bigger, just a little bit. Hello. Hup. No, no. Ow, ow. I'm trying to wail away on him. He's not losing health anymore. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. My dodge wasn't really working. Interesting. Probably should have just rolled away. Alright, we'll try this again. Hello, too much of you. How you doing? Throw down my Earden. I'll definitely want to... I'm gonna want to do more Quen this time around. There we go. Get my actual shield up. I was allowing myself to take too much damage there. But throwing a quick shield up could help with that immensely. God, there's a lot of them. All right. Yeah, I think I, I was doing my normal dodge to get away. And I don't think... Ow, shit. I'm trying to cast my Earden. I was doing my normal dodge and that wasn't really working for me because... He seemed to do like a flurry of blows that would uh, just hit me right after the dodge was done. It is a little tough dealing with the fact that they're in a crowd like this. Dodge? Ah, oh, my dodge didn't work for me either. All right, uh, Quen. Probably gonna follow up with another Eardin in a moment. Up, oh, one down. Last one. 
Let's get that shield back up. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Just gonna try to put some holes in you real quick. He doesn't... Ow, shit. Yeah, he doesn't really take damage. Let's see. Let's try to look him up in the bestiary. Uh, is he cursed? Nope. Uh, specters. Uh, Petinant. It turned out the monster haunting the Isle of Eldberg was... And its lighthouse was a rare type of specter known as a pen... Uh, a penitent. Wherever this wraith haunts, immediately becomes enveloped in thick fog and darkness, and those that wander into it usually never return. In order to defeat a penitent, one must remain in constant motion in order to avoid being struck by this agile creature, which can disappear and reappear in the blink of an eye to attack from behind. Most importantly of all, however, one must discover what keeps the monster bound to its haunting grounds and break that bond as soon as possible. So... It's vulnerable to moon dust and specter oil, Irden and, and Quen. So mostly what I was already doing, I didn't have spect. I didn't. I didn't pre-equip specter oil, unfortunately. Uh, what bomb do I currently have equipped? The Demetrium enhanced pu double puff ball. Am I allowed to switch my bombs right now? During or can I not do that during combat? Do I even have moon dust? Moon dust. Temporarily prevent transformations. Okay. That'll be handy. That'll be a good replacement for Demetrium for now. Uh, moon dust. Ow, did I do it? I think I did it correctly. Now I can probably just wail on him for a while. Quen. Just gonna put some holes in you for a while now. Hey, buddy. Did he light the lighthouse? Is that what ha Oh, yeah, it's lit. Okay. Oh. Probably want to put that Eardin down. Probably gonna get mobbed in a second here. All right, uh, that's a lot of them at once. Can I AOE them a bit? It's probably not a bad idea because there's so many of them. Ow, rude! Out of here. Yeah, that's not gonna really hurt them, is it? Nope, not really. Oh, they're behind me. They're be okay. They're everywhere. Good to know. Uh, yeah. As much as I love my pyromancy. I'm not gonna cut it here. Hey, he's in my science. He's still in my circle. That's handy. Ah, you broke my Quen. How dare you break my Quen? That one's down. Back off. Quen. Strike. Oh. Just, there we go. Do a quicker Yearden. Oh, here it comes. Ah uh ha -huh. ha. Can I interfere with his mines? That's that's a bit of sl stun down, uh, st a stun and slow down. Uh, oh, he pr oh he still had moon dust on him from before I think. Oh well, there we go. That went pretty smoothly actually. Hey, and this time my chest armor didn't break. That's not bad. Take a trophy. Ah, that looks like a lot of trophy to me. Ash rune and wraith trophy. These all seem like good things to have. Did it work? It did. Still don't know what brought the penitent here, though. You'd best be careful. I'd gladly thank you with words and gold. It's just my coin pouch is empty. I know the feeling. So long. Aww. Oh, right. We're getting our reward elsewhere. That's fine, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna walk her all over the place anyway, so it's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna click the crap out of all this stuff. Oh, man. I guess there's definitely an upside to fighting a dude that throws that many separate pieces of monster at you. So you can loot them all, one by one. That's so fantastic. So now we need to go, yep, right back down to the other fast travel location. Very convenient. Definitely gonna have to repair my weapon soon, too. Here we go. All right, sir. Reward me for my deeds because I have done great things for you today. And also I am incredibly humble. Hi, Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter and very rare. Where did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. 
Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Him again! Got a taste for Skellige mead, Fagran? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a keg for the road. And fuck off! I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Relax, Joran. It's just banter. Weak, but still. Nay. We're serious. Dead serious. And foolish as colts that graze on hemlock. But I'll put you straight. Oh, you've made a horrible mistake today. Alright, well, gonna put some holes in you. Whoa. I didn't even do anything. Oh, we're still fighting? I'm confused. Oh, why am I laying on the ground? What? Oh, we're using swords now. Oh, this ends poorly for you. Oh, did they kill him? That was awkward. I was laying on the ground. So many raids. Wars. Duels. Only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. What can I do? Get your family? You won't manage. Be journeying to meet my ancestors soon. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald, who lived honorable and died like a fool. Their last state. What about him? Well, speak, damn it. They're dead. At some foreigner's hand. Corey! Crocky! Oh, this is not gonna end well, is it? I need to get out of Skellige, don't I? Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent, will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village. And you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. I get the feeling I'm not going to make it to that card game today. <laughs> That's cool, though. I like it when something unexpected happens. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. This is a pretty impressive diversion, considering I really did just wander into a tavern, and that's all that happened. And all this is happening now as a result. Like, I didn't, uh... This, is, this wasn't even a quest. I mean, it was kind of... I guess it was kind of a contract, but I didn't even... I wasn't even following that marker. It just spawned into an event. And now these guys are being a problem. So there's prisoners around. Uh, can I... Uh, can I still cast Igni? Oh. No one's startled by that at all? That I have, still have magic? Hello, Seaman. Brambling. Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape. But there ain't none to be found. <laughs> Save for talking to old Simon. 
Look at him cast his eyes about. Oh, we're not gonna. I mean, I was. I thought we'd talk, but I guess not. <laughs> you. Well, where'd you get your scars? Uh, about seventeen thousand billion beasts. I'm telling you, we'll hit a cave one of these days. Make our escape. Uh, it's very optimistic of you. Three years. Three fucking years. Pick ox and hon. You ever tried digging out? Like, that way? Instead? Maybe? Yeah, I get it. They're watching on all that. Can I talk to this guy? When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to get leapt during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Well, I don't know if I would have gone through all this if, I, if, if my character didn't know about the uh, time issue. Oh wow, my beard's growing out. That's how long I've been here. Uh, or at least how long I've traveled beforehand. I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of thing happening to you. Like, uh, when Yennefer's quest popped up, she was like, please, hurry. If we if I don't meet you here, I guess I'll meet you back in, uh, where, Red, where Redovid was, basically. Or not, not Redovid, uh, where, Ciri, where Ciri's dad was. Uh, like, she was like, I'm only gonna be here for X amount of time. I bet if you spawned this kind of event, I bet she would actually leave, and you'd have to follow up in a different way for her quest. I don't have that much time looking for someone and... Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. Listen, maybe we can make a deal. They took my things, but... You aren't on the continent. Can't buy me. Not with gold, not with honors. Friendly folk they are. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I. Right. Uh, come on. I know I invested into that skill for a reason. I'm not using a pickaxe. This ain't Minecraft. My line gets back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die! I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you say to that? Uh, I mean, I killed one of them, to be uh, to be frank. I th I'm pretty sure that, that one of them actually got killed by the guy. Anyway. Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Huh. Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Harry. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet. I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find you guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually. End of the next century or so. I've a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home, Leif. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf, 
That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Respect, Witcher. Wow, someone just pops out and says respect. Not exactly what you expect from them, when so many are willing to besmirch me. Let's see, is there a way- can I warp to a lo closer location from here? Or am I going for a hike? I'm going for a hike, it would appear. Okay. Might as well warp over there though, because at least there's gonna be- At least over here there's a- there's a path. Alright, yeah. Walk into a random inn. Uh, get attacked by racists after doing nothing but helping people, frankly. And uh... Oh my god, that dragon just came from- fell from the sky. I'm not dragon siren thing. Oh, this whole place is under attack. Oh, there's a... Whoa, whoa, this whole place is doing poorly. That guy's dead, I guess. Whoops. Uh, not great. I was thinking I was walking into a safe town. My mistake. Try not to make that mistake, mistake again. Let's put some holes in him. Come back here. Come back here. You have to obey gravity for a few moments. There we go. So we've got a monster dead nearby. That'll be a diversion. What's in here? More dead people, maybe? Alcohol and such. Egg. Let's go ahead and repair my weapon. That got broken. It got all busted while I was, you know, I don't know. Saving the locals from horrible monsters, you know. And then they put me on trial for, mur for murder. That's thanks, thanks guys. I love you too. Feeling super welcome in Skellige nowadays. Definitely makes me want to linger around and do all of your little tasks of all the things you guys need help for when you randomly aggress on me like this. That would be an interesting role-playing decision to be like, well, I do have all these demands and quests that people have of me, uh, but you just did this to me, so I guess I'm leaving Skellige forever. But as a semi-completionist gamer, I'm probably going to still stick around. Even if these people are the worst towards me. When I'm doing nothing but helping them. That was a cool finisher. There was a DLC that came out recently for free. Like there is, well, I mean, I could say that in every episode and it'd always be true for in this series because they come out with so much DLC for this game for free. But this one was more additional finishers. Don't know if they involved these enemies though. That could have just been a fun surprise. There we go. All right. Anyone else want some? It's, it's, it's worked out so well for your siblings so far. I'm sure you'll be able to make it. Here's where the dead family members are. Or not, I mean the locals. They've been thoroughly wiped out. Don't have a lot of qualms at looking around then. Whoa, treasure. We've got a letter and flowers. Family fortune. That'll be another thing to follow up on. I'll hold off on it for now. It'll sit there in my inventory as something to check out later. But I'm already on... Another incidental quest, and I if I keep spawning incidental quests back to back like this, I am never gonna find my way towards any of my goals. All right, let's look into this monster den before I move forward, since it's apparently right here. Hello. Siren den. Gotta ruin it for them. Not a big deal. Oh, there's one. No auto lock. Whoops. What do we have here? Siren vocal cords, tooth, claw, monster bone, all that. Hello? Can I shoot you out of the sky? I just feel like you're gonna come after me either way, right? It's crazy how much they look, they look like drakes until they land and you see that they're weird booby women on the ends of dragon bodies. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just move on at this point. I could probably sail for a little while. Did not mean to... Oopsie. Did not mean to awkwardly <laughs> jump in the water like that. Way to go, me. There we go. That's closer to what I'm trying to do. 
Alright. I can probably make some progress towards our goal this way. To sail. I should. I might as well make excuses to ride around in boats whenever I can. If we're going to be hanging out in Skellige. It just fits the setting, you know? Very much looks like a scenes from Pirates of the Caribbean when I'm going around like this. In the misty areas. There's another siren on my right. I'm going to try to see if I can avoid its radius. Stick out of that territory. We're going, we're, we're going okay. I swear I'm going to get to that Gwent quest one of these days. It just might be like four episodes from now after a series of incidental quests all chained together. Because yeah, when, it, when something just pops up on me like this, I totally follow up on it. Just because it feels natural to the storytelling. It's one thing to pick up contracts and be like, yeah, I'll get to that later. But it's a different thing when something like straight up like a series of story events start happening to you. The idea of breaking off from it just feels unnatural. There's more of them over here. This is just about one of the straightest lines I could have taken to get here. Assuming it's gonna join together the way I hope it does. Whereabouts am I? Oh, yep. I'm gonna want to make landfall here. And then walk across country. I'm about to crash. Nope. Did not damage the boat. Way to go me. Didn't really land it properly either. It's probably it's probably just gonna wander off in the in the in the current and wind. If I allow it to sit there, or at least it would in, in real life, maybe. Anyway, guys, this is a decent place to cut it. We had we had our uh, we had our contract. We had our friction with the locals, and now we're going cross country a bit, in an attempt to redeem our names, which is you know there's a theme here. Me and Yennefer, we enter this country, and everything we do seems to make everyone hate us. And all we can do is try to keep up with all the bad reputation. Here's a here's a neat little place. Let's go to the peak. This at least the at least the local high point, not not necessarily the distant peak. Get a view here. Yeah. We are way up here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, I'll see you next time.